structuring of the Western world faces, AI is at the heart of a lot of those. Because if you think about the problems this country faces, our economy faces around productivity. AI is one of the ways we're going to pull ourselves out of that. If you think about some of the resource constraints this country faces, around how we manage things like the NHS and how, with an aging population, we run our country better, AI is potentially at the heart of that. If you think about the fact that everything is speeding up, everything is getting smaller, the world is moving at greater and greater pace with more and more information and data, AI is one of the ways in which we will potentially crack that. Now potentially, there's quite a lot of downside to AI. The risk around jobs, the risk around the hacking of elections we've seen, the risk with the Chinese model of a very intensive, uh, low, low, low consideration of people's individual freedoms, AI that's coming down the track. You in this room are people who work in AI in one of the leading centres of the world in AI. And therefore, fundamentally, the stuff you do, the work you do, can make a real difference to how AI potentially impacts the world. So it's really important that we all focus on that and move forward. Now, football may or may not be coming home, but AI definitely is coming home. And the point is, it's our job to make sure the home that AI comes back to is what we're having. Thank you very much, and roll on the football.